Hey y'all, welcome back to another video on my channel. Every time I start recording, my wig be itching. And don't fight me, because I know how you girls like to tussle. <laughs> Welcome back to another video on my channel and if you guys are new here my name is Jada more commonly known as Jaji as you guys can see by my name below and while you're looking at my name below let's acknowledge that 100k that's next to the name and I want to give you guys a big thank you because y'all are the reason why it says 100k I didn't really do anything too crazy just because you guys know I'm terrible at planning things but just know that I really freaking love you guys like to the moon and back I literally just got an email that my channel will soon have a verified check next to it by the time you guys see this video my channel may or may not be verified is that not like a big deal so today we're gonna be doing a what's on my iphone video as per requested by you guys i did post that i got this phone about a couple days after it actually came out this is the 13 pro max deluxe with extra side of fries i don't know these names is like starting to sound like combo meals you guys see it in the title i'm like not the best at you know remembering the names i do have it in the gold color um i'm looking off to my viewfinder in the side do you guys see my nails I'm gonna scoot over a little bit so I can have like some space. So it is 1228 on Wednesday, November 17th. I, this is exposing me for what time I really do film my sit down videos. I'm always filming during the AM. I can never film during like normal people hours, like 6 p.m., 5 p.m. Unless it's a vlog, I am filming literally in the middle of the night. My lock screen says, you are so close to the victory, don't you dare give up now. This is from the motivation app, which I'll show you guys when I get more into my phone. But I just like to have like a positive saying or like, you know, an affirmation or something of some sort or on my lock screen i do tend to change these quotes out pretty often i like to keep it you know fun and fresh all right so now we're actually getting into my phone and this is my home screen this is a super pretty picture that i took when i went to toronto and it was really nice light i am lying i took this right off of pinterest i don't know it just gives me like a very open vibe i feel like you know i don't go out much so i just gotta have a little glimpse of outside on my phone now we're gonna get into the stuff that you guys really care about which is like my apps and stuff on my first screen i have the calendar widget and i also have my battery widget my airpod is actually somewhere i guess not in the case because it's showing that it's on 55 percent and i need to find it before it dies so the first four apps that i have in the corner is calendar facetime camera and photos pretty self-explanatory and then on the bottom i have like my priorities and clearly i need to get my priorities straight instagram snapchat youtube tiktok they are not important to me in that order whatsoever um yeah i stand by that statement at jaji dior i'm at 29.1k I love you guys so much this was my 100k post that i posted and yeah it just got a little you know we got a little soft in the caption and stuff like that but you know when i'm off of youtube i'm usually always on instagram so make sure you guys go follow me on there as well as snapchat and um youtube tiktok everything is at jaji or you guys know this already i don't really post on tiktok all that much but you know i have my little fair share of tiktok and then on the bottom i have messages the youtube studio app and the music app the youtube studio app is really just a content creator app so if you're creating on youtube you probably know what this app is nine times out of ten it just shows us all of our analytics how our videos are doing how they're ranking if people are actually watching it how people are reacting to our videos so we know what videos do good what videos don't so on and so forth it's not really all that important to the average consumer if you don't do youtube you won't use that app but it is in the bottom for me because that's very important i usually check how my videos are doing 24 7 and on my next slide i have my settings app which you guys know what that is my ring app which i have a ring doorbell it's basically like a doorbell camera if you go on it you can basically like connect to my front door camera anytime that somebody is in front of my door i get a notification and it's really good because that's how i catch the mailman 90 percent of the time i have the clock app you know setting alarms and stuff phone weather notes can we talk about how underrated the notes app is please i have everything from video ideas to journal entries to math test answers to the Krabby Patty secret formula in my notes app like literally everything is in there um safari find my then i have the motivation app widget which again i really love this motivation app the quote says remind yourself of what you have been able to overcome all the times you felt like you weren't supposed to make it through you proved yourself wrong you are more powerful than you think and it's a quote by ash owls then i have the school for Older, which literally gives me a headache just looking at it i'm gonna blur out my college app but just know that that's an app for my college i have the zoom app just in case i'm not able to join a class like if i'm outside and i don't have access to my ipad or my computer i'll join through my phone i have the docs app because if you guys don't use this hack to write your essays the voice to speech or voice no voice to text speech to text voice to text whatever literally i don't type anymore i go on docs i use the voice to text and i just speak out my essay 
and I let the thing type it for me. I'm about to just delete Blackboard and focus on myself because the amount of assignment notifications that I get from this app, I literally just got a Blackboard notification as I said that. God's timing is always right. And I have Speechify because Speechify is a thing that I like to use. You can take a picture of the text that you have to read or you can upload screenshots and it basically reads it for you so you can multitask or you know if you just don't feel like doing you know too much thinking with your brain. Outlook is the email that I use for my school email. I have a lot of Japanese um learning apps because I took up Japanese this semester. Don't even ask me why I don't want to talk about it. The three dollar signs folder and these are just like money transferring apps or my bank. Chase, PayPal, Venmo, Cash App and then Contacts because if you ain't talking money I don't want to talk. Now let me stop. Two different mail apps. One is my personal email and the second one is my business email. I have the App Store Maps, Files and Apple Watch which my Apple Watch is actually not connected. I had a comment that said it is not a Jaji video if her camera is not dying mid video. Most accurate thing I've read since I've joined this red and white app on to the next page i have the little music widget and i have playboy live tori lane's that album and this one in particular there is a playboy album but it's not the live one i personally have an attachment to the live one over the regular playboy album i don't just listen to one song so if you're gonna ask me what's my favorite song on the album the whole album is one song to me you can't just listen to one you have to listen to the entire thing all the way through it is a song the album is the song the album is my favorite song i have these three folders in the top corner and the first one is shopping grilled is more of like i would consider it more of the higher end research selling app so hype beast stuff sneakers things of that nature is what you'll find on grill go i use mainly for reselling or rebuying sneakers amazon y'all know i'm queen amazon by the way if you want to shop my amazon favorites that'll be down in the description box make sure you click the link and you guys will be able to find like a whole bunch of stuff that i buy on amazon then i have etsy and i really like etsy because i feel like it's pretty much an app for the people that don't have huge businesses or just are starting things from in their house it's a lot of custom things and just homemade things that are actually really good Klarna and if you guys know anything about Telfars that's the only reason that I have this app I don't think I ever planned on using Klarna Depop which is a reselling app and it makes it really easy to resell you can resell yourself if you want to you know sell your old clothes I haven't been too active on here right now pretty much all of my good items are sold I do plan on uploading a lot more stuff though you guys will hear more about that in a vlog that's coming up I have Shein because if you guys don't know I am sponsored by Shein so I usually just go on here it's way easier to find clothes through the app so I just have the app download then I have stock X which sneakers you guys know hype beasts all that stuff is on there now we're going on to the travel folder Riverside which is a cab service uber you guys know what uber is high class is another cab service Zillow Zillow rentals and Airbnb I don't know I just really like looking at apartments like sometimes I just think like what will it be like living in Chicago what can I get for two thousand dollars in Chicago I don't know I guess I'll just be on Zillow trying to manifest what my future apartment is gonna look like Airbnb is pretty much like do you guys know what Airbnb is? You can basically just book places to stay if you're staying out of town or, you know, even if you want to have a mini staycation and you don't want to stay in a hotel, you actually want an apartment with a kitchen and, you know, things like that. So that's pretty much what Airbnb is. I have closet. This is full of stuff that I actually don't use that much. WhatsApp because Caribbean parents love to use WhatsApp to communicate. Telegram, which... If you know, you know. <laughs> Dropbox is usually what my photographer uses to give us all of our pictures. FBA print is for my thermal printer, which is what I use to print out my shipping labels when I'm shipping on Depop. UNUM, un um, I don't know how you say UNUM, un um, is it pretty much lets you predict how your feed is gonna look when you add a picture i'm not sure why it looks like this i think i have to re-log into my instagram that app pretty much lets you put the picture on your page hypothetically just to see how it looks and then you know if you want to upload it you upload it the motivation app that i've been talking about this entire freaking video you would have thought it was sponsored sign now i use that to sign usually like brand deal contracts and things like that and then disney plus i don't really use disney plus on my phone i use it more on my computer but you know if i'm on the go and i want to watch a little disney i'm not paying that how much is it like a nine dollar thirteen dollar subscription i'm not paying that for no reason and i have the magic eight bit ball i know this probably makes no sense to you guys but sometimes when i don't know how to make a decision i kid you not i rely on this will i hit 200k within the next three months you may rely on it and you heard it here first and then i have uber eats because i love to eat oh my god you guys ask me how i gain so much weight uber eats that's the culprit co-star and the pattern those are both zodiac sign apps and honestly 
I haven't been into my zodiac sign too much lately. So I'm not going to go into it and pretend I know the world about it. Then I have Pinterest. I love Pinterest. It's where I like get all my ideas from. Literally, 9 times out of 10. My Pinterest pretty much has like outfits, nail ideas. Maybe some hair ideas will pop up every here and there. But you know, this is like an Instagram without the criticism. You can just post on Pinterest and it's just all good vibes. Open table. I am the responsible friend of the group. And I am the one that understands that you cannot just pop up at restaurants and expect them to seat you. You can schedule reservations so you have a booked reservation for any restaurant you can even find restaurants on there if you're like really determined to find a restaurant near you that has reservations open amc theaters app because if you guys don't know your girl is fully vaccinated so i'm able to actually go see a movie now remedy is actually an app this is gonna take too long because they love to give you ads but it pretty much clears up your pictures i feel like reddit is a bit of like an old head app like i feel like who really has reddit you know the reddit threads really do get a little interesting like people be talking a lot on reddit like i don't think people like to acknowledge the drama that goes on on reddit but reddit is reddit is something else headspace is a meditation app i tried to get into it but i just don't understand why i have to pay why do i have to pay for peace they always want to throw in these extra purchases and you just never can't get the full experience until you pay and i get it you got to make your money but it's like i'm trying to find peace and you taking money out my wallet pocket camp now this is basically um what is this game called animal crossing i used to play this when i was younger on my 3ds and no i'm not ashamed to say animal crossing was the shit i don't think i ever got a chance to really get into this app animal crossing was really that game and if i could buy a nintendo ds right now with animal crossing in in the packet i think i would like no joke i actually think i'm gonna do that this video is giving me ideas that I don't really want to have. So then I have Pandora. I don't usually put on Pandora, but I like to put on Pandora like if I'm trying to find some new music or just old music. If you need that playlist, like if you need that old time Drake, that old Nicki, if you need those playlists, Pandora gonna vibe you out. Pandora's like a set it and forget it app. Like Pandora, if you put Pandora on the aux, you, you not gonna do wrong with Pandora on the aux. I don't like asking people for the songs because people like to be stingy. When I'm in the back of your car and you don't wanna tell me the song, it's all right because I'm gonna Shazam that puppy and I'm gonna play it when I get home. Then I have Twitter. I don't really be on Twitter like that. I'm actually scared to open the app. I don't know what's gonna pop up. I really only follow Sky Jackson on Twitter because she gets gritty. She gets gritty on Twitter. Then I have the Daily Yoga app once again i think i tried to get into yoga once upon a time pretty sure this is another one of those apps where it's just like they make you pay to get like an extra yoga position and it's like why can't can i just enjoy myself canva i usually use for my thumbnails or if i want to make like a business post or like a professional post that i want to put on my story one tracker and as you guys know i have a lot of packages being shipped to my house kind of like on a daily basis i like to put all my tracking and i can pretty much tell when everything's gonna get here it gives you estimated delivery times it tells you when it's delivered fashion nova which again if you guys don't know i am sponsored by fashion nova so i usually just go on the app and pick out a couple items for my hauls the face app which the face app oh look at those selfies cute I just expose myself. What am I doing here? Cooper, which is like a coupon extension you can put on your phone to where whenever you're at checkout and it detects coupons that you can use, it'll put the coupons automatically. Domino's, because once again, I like to eat. eBay is obviously like, you know, a resale app, of course. You know, you can buy things. You can buy anything on eBay, honestly. So, I don't know why I downloaded it because you don't need the app to transfer money, but slipped my mind so i guess i downloaded it planner pro and structure those are both like planning apps because i had to plan i, I just need the platform like <laughs> honestly i try to download these planner apps because i like to think that i am so good at making to-do lists the problem is i have a problem with following them and last but not least we're gonna end this off on another note of me saying i like food grubhub is a food delivery app i didn't know um well i mean that's really it on my phone i don't really have too much on here i've had this phone for about two months now so I just wanted to get this video out. I hope you guys really did enjoy it. Not gonna lie, when I was younger, I used to be nosy as hell and watch these same exact videos. So make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Follow me on Instagram and Snapchat and whatever else I mentioned in this video. Make sure you follow me on Depop. Don't forget MySpace. I don't wanna talk too much because I feel like this video is probably gonna be long enough. So I'm gonna catch you guys in the next one. The next one should be a vlog, don't kill me. I need to come up with a new outro. Dio, dio, out of here.